This guide will show you how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, even if Microsoft has told you that it can't be upgraded. This method is legitimate and does not unauthorize the Windows license. The majority of the time Windows 10 can't be upgraded is because it is searching for a TPM chip installed on the motherboard. This chip is on almost all new motherboards, but not on most of the older motherboards. This chip isn't mandatory for Windows 11 to work, and most PCs will be able to run Windows 11 without it, so we can safely bypass this TPM chip check. A word of warning before you do the upgrade, ensure that your PC meets the minimum specifications before doing this. It needs at least 4GB of RAM, a 64-bit CPU that has at least 1 GHz clock speed with two cores or more, and not pre-8th generation Intel core processors, and UEFI firmware. To find out if yours is UEFI, try to boot the system into the BIOS by pressing the relevant F keys on boot up. If you can see a mouse inside here, it's likely UEFI not BIOS. Be aware that Microsoft has declared that future updates are not guaranteed when this chip check is bypassed, but so far I have upgraded many computers and they have all been updating fine. I imagine this is an empty threat because Microsoft really wants everyone to buy new computers, but I would however recommend you install your own third party antivirus. We have a special offer on Norton Antivirus for $30 or pounds, and that info is in the description under this video. Now let's get on with the guide. First we need to create a boot USB. Use the link in the description to download Windows 11. From the drop down box select Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO for X64 devices then click on download now. Choose your language, ensure that it matches exactly your current system language, click on confirm, then click on 64-bit download. Use the link in the description to download Rufus. Go down to the Rufus links and download rufus.exe. When both files have downloaded, go to your downloads folder and open up Rufus. Ensure a USB drive is inserted of at least 16GB size. Use the device drop down box to select the USB drive. Click on select and find the Windows 11 you downloaded earlier in the downloads folder. Click on start. Ensure the top two options are ticked to ensure there are no TPM checks and no forced Microsoft account logins. Once complete, the install drive is ready to use. If you are upgrading to another computer, eject the USB drive from the computer and insert it into the computer that needs updating. This USB drive can be used to do a fresh install from boot, but since this video is about upgrading your current Windows 10, I will show you how to do that instead. Disable the internet from the computer by right clicking the internet icon on the bottom right of the taskbar and choosing network settings. Click on change adapter options settings, right click then disable your network adapters. Go into the File Explorer and open up the Windows 11 USB drive. Find and open the USB drive. Double click on Setup. Select Change how Windows does updates and change it to Not Now. Accept. Ensure Keep Files and Apps is ticked and click on Install. Leave it running until the installation is complete. The computer will restart when it is finished and may either ask you some setup questions or let you straight in. Once you are in, click on the start button slash windows icon and write the word updates. Check for updates will appear, so click on that. Download and install all of the updates. Once it is finished updating, restart the computer and check for updates again. 
Do this until there are no updates left to download. And that's it. Your computer is saved. If you want to install from boot without having to enter a Microsoft account, check out my video linked in the description below this video. If this video was useful to you and saved you money, please like and subscribe as a thank you and share it to people you think will find it useful.